Okay. Hello, everybody. Yeah, my Tilly's been watching me all day. So, that's what I did. I had this old sewing machine table that I never, never used. So, I took it out of the storage, brought it home. That's just, what do you call those? It's when you have a swing table. I used to have a table, drop table, and these were that. So I attached it here permanently, drilled that really good, as you can see, attached that under there. I got the, this is what they use when they're making 3D um, printer stuff, so that, and it's really nice and um, taut. It shouldn't be so tight that it's going to break your machine. It is loud, that's the only thing. But now that I figured this out, I definitely, definitely, definitely will get a ser 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 servo motor. And this is a pulley. It's a Hispanica lawnmower pulley. I tighten these up really good. And I'm going to show you it's loud. Don't expect it to be real quiet because there's no speed control. So I cannot control this. This is just a regular... Um, this is a servio motor, but for a domestic sewing machine. So let's give it a, a try. Let's see. Is it plugged up? This plug is not a good plug. I'm going to tell you that right now. It has something that comes off real easily. Okay, so let me try it again. <laughs> Trying to hold this plug and do this at the same time. That's loud. But if you just tap it and you want it to go slow, you didn't want to go fast. See? These are um, nice round plastic, um, so it won't hit me or scratch me. So if you go, just tap it. That's how it goes. So it works. The only thing is, check this plug out. It slides right out of the plug. So I don't know why they did that. But all in all, it works. If I unplugged it, so it's not on it. If you just tap it like that, tap, 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 it'll go slow. Tap, tap, until I can afford a servio motor. And I've touched it, and it's not hot. And I can imagine getting the correct kind of belt. But hey, look what I did. I did it. I did it. I attach it to my old sewing machine. And I definitely don't have the bobbin or the bobbin case in there so that's another thing don't ever run thread and bobbin in there so i'm gonna find a plug something like this and attach it to the side here because that's the only way that plug works and what else Whew. i started this well i actually started at 11 making this table you can see how sturdy that is then my drill went out <laughs> So I had to wait a couple hours to get the drill charged up. This is on there really good. Look at that. And it's heavy. It's a very heavy, solid oak, wood, maple. I don't know what it is. But this is what you need. Something really solid. If you can get your hands on an old timer um, and it's got room. Well, I have all kinds of storage stuff in here because it was storage. Now I can put all my threads. and I use this for knitting um, table but and I made this little container because the original one that was under here the drawer broke so I sealed it all off I'm gonna just leave it like that and I put this little tray that was a tea, coffee tray and I stuck that in there now I can put my tools or whatever thread I'm using in here and I did it I am really 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 proud of myself because I'm a woman and they say we can't do nothing, but hey, 
I prove, I can prove my family and friends that I can do it. So I got my magnet up here. So when I'm going to thread the bobbin, got it right there. I, I run the thread up here and I use this one tension rod, place that bobbin in there and it winds up the bobbin really, really fast. And then when I'm not using it, I place it back up here and wow, I'm really, really happy. Super duper happy. <laughs>